Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Tyler from the Shaw Realm, and today I'm going to bring you my version of Prank Kids Thunder Dragons. So, I have like two versions of this deck, so I'll be going over that too when at the end of the video. But, really fun deck, and really easy to bring out. You know, Colossus. I haven't went in Titan yet, all too much, but you can still do a lot of stuff with this. So, really amazing deck, really fun to play. Even just the regular Prank Kids version is awesome. So, I actually took this to regionals yesterday, not the uh, Thunder Kids version, but just a regular Prank Kids version, and oh my god, I love regionals. People that are awesome, just amazing, so if you ever get a chance, do go to one, and just, it's a blast. But, get into the deck, this is a 41 card deck, and if you want to change any ratios, please do, and if you have any recommendations on what I should change or add, I would love to hear it because this is still kind of odd to me, so I'm still trying to learn everything and just get down, but I would love to hear it. So starting off, of course, the three Prank Kids Lampsies, Burn for 500 if used for Link or Fusion Material of a Prank Kids monster. And then, as usual with the Prank Kids, after you do their first effects, then you can just special summon another one that's not the same one from the deck to the field. And Another thing to point out is one of the rulings that if one of the prank hit monsters, so say if I went to Rip and Roar Roaster, if this gets Solemn Strikes, these don't get their effects because it wasn't successfully summoned. Just a quick thing. <laughs> but to continue on, got three lamps, uh, three dropsies. This is the one that basically gives you a thousand life if fused as fusion or link deal for a prank kids. And then I'm not even going to continue with the other effects because they're all the same. But uh, Fanzies, Foolish Burial for well, Foolish Burial of Goods. Actually, Foolish Burial for anything basically because you can either send any Prank Kids monster from deck to grave and then special summon. So more or less, you're going to be uh, sending one of the trap Prank Kids plan. So that's basically your big setup. Just protects you from taking less damage and shuffling everything back for recursion. And thank you to Soul Fusion, Special Edition, for giving us this. Prank Kids Roxies. The reason why I played th uh, a Thunder Dragon version is due to the fact of him. So basically, as usual, if you use for Link or Fusion Material for Prank Kids, you banish a card from your hand and draw one. So the next card I'm going to be showing helps with that a lot, which is going to be, of course, the three Thunder Dragon Darks. So when this card is banished, then you can search for any Thunder Dragon card in your deck. So really, really amazing card. And it helps you get to your Thunder Dragon Fusion quicker and even your Thunder Dragon uh, Hawk. I only play two hand traps because the deck's a little constricted. So just two Ash Blossom. Just because really, really good card against any in the matchup. And finally onto the spells we're going to be playing. Of course, the three fill spell, Prank Kids Place. You on activation add a Prank Kids monster from your deck to hand. And if you fusion summon, they gain 500. Your monsters gain 500. And Link summon, your opponent loses 5 lands. Since we're playing field spells, two terraforming, because terraforming. Then three instant fusion to get out the rocket ride. And then just a whole bunch of other combos and pandemonium because pandemonium and you can search it off of dodo dual do and just set it wait for your opponent's turn activate it when needed and just really really good three poly because this is fusion eccentric and you really want to see your fusions as quick as quick as possible so that's why you play three polymerization or if you want to go and you have basically all the materials for the uh, Colossus or Titan in hand, use it. And just another thing to mention about Prank Kids too, since you play the Thunder Dragons, Fanzies is a Thunder type, so that's why you always have at least something. And plus you can search Fanzies off of the next card which is Thunder Dragon Fusion. So when this card's in the graveyard, except the turn that's sent there, banish it and then you can add Fanzies to hand. So you always get the Prank Kids card. 
or if you want, need be, depending on what you banish off of the one desires, then you're going to be either getting it or getting a Thunder Dragon. So it's all depending on what you have left in the deck. But two Prank Kids Plans. Prank Kids Plans helps you. So if you say if you have two of the trap and you don't want them, <laughs> which is a good portion of the time, you can at least send one of the trap to grave and then make a token. Then you can go into fusion and stuff like that. So if you're missing like one material for a link summon or something like that, you always have that. It's always a guarantee for you to get the link summon or fusion summon. Since it's a combo deck, two called by. Uh, I do have a third one for the sideboard. Like I said, the deck was a little too constricted. If you want, you can try 42 cards. I would love to hear how it goes, in all honesty. So I'm thinking about adding it back. So please, please let me know. And for the Thunder Dragon Dark, you're going to be going for a Gold Sarcophagus. I might bump this up to two. Next is the One Paw Desires. I have an issue with this card. Doing how the fact that I know this deck has a lot of recursion with prank kids, but banishing a whole bunch of your like cards that you may need later on, especially with just having like three of each prank kid. Maybe you want to go into two lampsies to make it totally awesome and stuff like that. It's a little risky. That's why I only put it down to one. I got rid of the other two, but that's only my preference. So play it how you will. But just be warned that you can banish a lot, and sometimes you will draw off of the proxies. <laughs> so that's just a warning. And finally, for the main deck is two prank kids plans. After the thing resolves, then you get to link summon a prank kids monster, then get more effects. If it's in grave, then and when your opponent attacks, basically, you can just banish it, shuffle any number of prank kids monsters, well prank kids cards back in the deck. And that monster that's attacking loses however much attack that is. So that's 100 for each Prank Kids card. But, all right, that's going to be it for that one. For the main deck, for the sideboard, this is what I went and took out for the uh, Thunder Dragon. So if you want to go back to the original, just take out Thunder Dragon Engine and put the two Effect Veiler, two Invocations, and one Call by one desires and that's really it for what you want to switch out but onto the actual sideboard if you want to just depending on what you want to do so I don't I can't afford infinite permits so I played the three red reboot which can also stop infinite permits so really really good got the one bow wow bark in the extra deck I tried playing two because it just has such a good effect the link monsters Basically, this is the only one that can do it on your opponent's turn is add two monsters, two prank kids monsters from your de uh, grave to hand. Actually, it's prank kids cards. Whoops, prank kids cards from your grave to hand, and with 2,000 attacks, really good. This one protects from battle, no, from Carfax. Carfax. Whoops. Weather Washer is the one for battle. So that's another thing that I like about it. So that's why I played two. So you can take out the Colossus or Titan for that one. Um, then one don't the the one dodo do will do uh, another good card and if you wanted you could take out the titan I recommend or something like that and then the, whoop, wrong one. the one service finally the one rocket ride one extra rocket ride that's it for the sideboard next is finally the extra deck which is going to be one boral sword game winner one dragon one phoenix. The one Harpy's Feather Duster, Rip and Roar Roaster, really easy to make. Like, any Link 4s that you have in this deck are really easy to make. Like, for anyone that's watched the YCS Milan, you can make Borload and Borosaur at the same time. That's how broken this deck is. So, just amazing. Two Dodo Doodaloos. This is the one that you, can, uh, that you can only do on your turn, which is add the two back to hand. So really good, and especially since the fusions, well, some of the fusions special summon cards that aren't fusions monsters back to the field. So you're always guaranteed to link four, as long as they don't like torrential tribute, regeki, something like that. But just an amazing, amazing card. And of course, the one bow wow bark again protects from card effects. Amazing. 
and one battle butler, the rip, the, the Rikeki of the deck. Really easy to make. I make it without even noticing sometimes. And what I figured out when I was playtesting another version of this before I had Colossus was that you can make Battle Butler with Thunder Dragon Fusion because it's technically a Thunder type. So it's really, really good. The only thing about doing Thunder Dragon Fusion with it is that you don't get the prank kit's actual effects. But they do shuffle back in the deck, so you're always guaranteed the shuffle back, but it it depends on what you want to do at that point. On either player's turn, you can just tribute that, blow up the field from their side. You can target one non-fusion monster in your graveyard, especially on the back of the field. So, like, Weather Watcher, I believe, is the one where it's like, special summon two. Yeah, special summon two. And they can't, the only thing to remember about Weather Watcher is the ones that you special summon off of him are the ones that cannot be destroyed by battle. So, just put counters on the ones that you do, just so you know. But, another good instant fusion target and yeah same with rock ride rock rides the one that you can use on your turn you can't use it on your opponent's turn but you basically use this special summon to continue with link plays you're pretty much set and finally titan colossus and the main dude totally awesome if you want to get rid of totally awesome for an extra uh rock ride or something like that you can definitely do that but Totally awesome has actually saved me against a whole bunch of things when I was at the regionals. So amazing, amazing card. But alright, that's actually it for the whole deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, if you have any recommendations for this deck, I would love to hear them because I'm still trying to work out the ratios a little bit. Because right now it worked pretty fine yesterday when I was testing it after regionals. But I'm still trying to figure out everything about it, so. Hope you guys enjoyed, and please do leave a like and comment down below. Check out our Reddit and our Twitter, and they'll be in either the description down below or in one of the things up on the screen. So, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.